Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and I love finding and crafting budget decor. If you do too, please subscribe. Today is the Try It Tuesday Challenge. I'll be trying crafts that I've seen posted from other YouTube channels and leaving links to their videos in the descriptions. This is a monthly challenge that's hosted by Sammy of Unicorn Dust Designs. Her co-host this month is Angie, the Red-Headed Scrapper. Links for their channels and this playlist are also in the descriptions. So number one, I'm trying the Faux Rust Technique that was posted by Teresa of Al Green Acres. I'm going to be painting this little lantern from Dollar Tree to look rusty. First thing I'm going to do is take that ring off the top. And then I'm going to go in with chocolate brown paint from Apple Barrel and a sponge brush and just kind of do a dry brushing on the lantern. I don't mind if some of that silver or black shows through. Just getting a 90% um, coverage, I'd say. Once that dried, I came in with some Mod Podge. I'm just using gloss Mod Podge and dabbed it here and there where I thought rust might develop on something like this, mostly getting corner pieces. Once I had the Mod Podge dabbed on, I grabbed the cinnamon and shook it all over kind of like a glittering technique and just like glitter it makes a mess I should have put something down under it but I did not once I've got all the Mod Podge covered I tap 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 to shake off the excess now when it was completely dry I needed to seal it somehow and the only thing I had in clear was this matte paper preserve it, but it actually did really good. I was happy with how it turned out. Now I want to embellish the top of this. So first I'm taking a little wooden letter R, looping some twine in there, and tying it to the top. I started to tie it around and I was like, uh, duh, there's a hole right there. So I just stuck it through where I took off the metal ring. And then I added some little spring colored flowers in white, yellow, and pink. And there it is on the coffee bar. This is actually be great for a tiered tray because it's so small and that's likely where it's going to be going after this video. Very cute. The second thing I saw was on Pinterest a speckled robin's egg and I'm trying the speckle painting but this was also posted by Sonia of Domestic Diva so credit goes to her. I'm going to use this pickled okra jar. Hey, I'm Southern. Who, who in the South doesn't love pickled okra? And I'm going to take the label off and give it a good coat of Mod Podge all over. Then I turned it upside down and waited for it to dry clear. Once it was completely dry, I needed a nice blue color for the robin's egg. And I thought the blue that I had, Vimini, I think it was called, was too bright, so I added in some pewter gray and mixed that up. Just adding a little dot of gray and mixing it till I found a color that I was happy with. Now since I put Mod Podge on the jar, I'll only need one coat of that gray. I mean, the blue. That's why I Mod Podge the jar, to give it a um, kind of like a primer. Mm -hmm. 
Now that it's dry, I'm going to add in some black and chocolate brown speckles. Let me tell you, next time I do speckling, if I do this again, I'm going to put on an old shirt or a crafting apron or both. I just got some of the paint on a brush, a good stiff brush, and then tapped it with the handle of another brush. First some black and then some brown. I had some oopsies here and there, but I think that just adds character to the jar. Now I'm going to take three lengths, three rounds of this nautical rope and go all the way around the top. Just covering up where the lid would screw on. And I did go a little bit high on that first round to cover the top completely. Only thing left to do now is to add some florals and I've got this cute baby's breath from Walmart that I picked up for 97 cents. And there it is all finished. For the first time of doing speckle paint, not bad. Will I do it again? Hmm, I don't know. But at least I know how to do it. Number three is Birdhouse Pillars. This is inspired by Southern Gmore Gals. Now I had the little Dollar Tree birdhouses and I just set them up not even painted or anything because I couldn't decide exactly what I wanted to do with them until I saw her video yesterday. I got some cordial glasses that I picked up from Goodwill for 40 cents. It was half off that day. 40 cents each. And I'm just going to take those stickers off and clean them well with alcohol to make sure that the paint will adhere. Don't want to paint over dust. But while that's drying well, I'm going to go over the birdhouses with a coat of Mod Podge. She had mentioned that when she was spray painting hers, that the paint didn't want to stick to the wood as well as it did the glass. So I'm going to use Mod Podge as primer. And I'm just using the clear, uh, not clear Mod Podge, gloss, that's it. Now I'm going to hot glue two of the cordial glasses together, end to end, bottom to bottom. There we go, just go all the way around with I'm just using regular hot glue and then pressing those two bottoms together and trying to even them up best I can. And since I didn't Mod Podge the bottom of the birdhouses, I'm going to go ahead and glue them on. So I'm trying to figure out which I want on what tier. The one glass, just one tier, I guess you would say, pillar. I'm going to put the medium sized birdhouse on there. Glued all the way around and stuck it to the bottom of the wood. And then for the taller one, the two tier per se. Pillar, I'm going to glue the shortest of the three birdhouses on it. And then the other one won't have anything under it. I'm using matte seaside green. This will be great for spring and summer because it's a um, nautical type coastal color. Isn't that pretty? I think they turned out great. I just did two light coats on all those pieces. Now I'm going to take some Spanish moss to look like some nesting material on there. And it got a bit out of frame here, sorry. I had to do it at least once per video. I was gonna put some hot glue down in the front of that birdhouse and stick down some Spanish moss. And then the center part, I'm gonna put some more moss and I'm gonna glue that all the way around. I just laid it down on the hot glue 
and then brought it on around. Now I'm going to put a little bit on that medium height birdhouse as well, just right in the front. And that's how this grouping looks. I love it, love it, love it. Much better than just the raw wood houses sitting there all the same height. I really appreciate Southern Gmore Girls for sharing this. And here are all three of today's projects. I'm pretty happy with how all three turned out. Which one was your favorite? If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up to let me know. And if it's your first time visiting my channel, leave me a comment down below. Introduce yourself or just say hi. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you join my channel. Until next time, bye-bye.